Look at that hairball. Ah, I've been talking about cutting this hair for a while. She didn't want to be on camera. Too bad you're on camera. Um, my sister, you guys remember? She's, Hello. She's the only person that really cuts my hair. I've been talking about wanting to cut my hair for a long time now, and I'm gonna make it happen. I'm, I'm leaving it up to her, as well as her, as far as what's actually gonna happen, because I don't care. Like, if they cut it all off, I'm fine with it. Here, Should watch, Daddy cut what? really short, or just a trim? Um, pretty short. Short? Yeah. Why don't, you go see, why don't you go see how long it is back there? Um, about yeah, this yard. That long? Finally! My hair oh is going to be longer! Gosh. This is like the first time in Holy years that my hair will be longer than Brian's. Before I show you guys exactly what's happening now underneath this hat of mine, I want to take you guys on a little adventure. We're here in my hometown. I'm going to go to the creek that I've been going to since I was just a little wee lad and hopefully catch some things that I've never, ever caught before there. And then we'll come back to the hair. This is the place I've been coming to since I was a little kid. Known for the sycamore trees like the one right behind me there. The boys and Hillary and everybody came down here the other day when I was at work and they saw a river otter down here. Two river otters. Never in my entire life of coming down here have I ever even heard of there being an otter down here. My dad, who's been coming here for 50 years plus, has never heard of there being a river otter. So that's what brought us down here today. I don't know that we'll actually get to see another one. Hillary had that horrible clip here of, of one that she kind of caught on video. But I just thought that was super cool that animals are showing up here, which they're probably being driven here by fires and stuff like that. So that's not good. But I did want to come down here and check it out and show you guys this place. And my main goal is to hopefully catch some frogs because I've always wanted to catch bullfrogs here and for whatever reason I've always been unsuccessful. I'm hoping that today is the day I finally catch a bullfrog at Sycamore Grove. Check it out. Crawdad life is trying to reach behind and pinch me. <laughs> that little crawdad life. I'm gonna go ahead and say he's not doing so hot. He's just kind of floating down there. Not really going anywhere. Yeah, crawdad life, I think unfortunately soon to be crawdad death. Noah's over here. You almost caught a frog? They're all over the place, I think. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's what, that, this is the spot where me and Eli saw me catch a frog. Did oh, he? oh, look, crawdad trying to escape. Look at that. <gasps> oh. No, wait, wait, wait. You can just pick it up. Watch. Oh, I think a frog. Oh, there's frogs. Oh, there's a frog right there. Are you sure he can't reach me? Yeah, you, you, you're good. Just hold him by the back and he won't get you. Look at that. Tiniest little crawdad you ever did see. Look at those little tiny pinchers. Little tiny crawdad life. They're not big enough They're tiny. to pinch you. All right, little crawdad life. Go back in the water, my friend. For all my years down at this creek, I've never been able to actually catch a bullfrog. I've caught tree frogs, toads, but never a bullfrog. Hoping this is going to be the day. It's right there. Where? You can see it? That's not a frog. It would have tried to run away by now. That's not a frog. <laughs> 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 Uh, nope, it's just the camera's still recording. I just dumped my camera into the pond. I think I'd probably just turn it off now. Well, my first bullfrog ever, I missed it. Well, at least you can tell them what you did. I just caught my first bullfrog ever in my life, and I accidentally hit stop on the camera instead of record. Gosh, what a, what a guy. I think my microphone's all plugged up with pond scum. Man, that's rough. That's a rough, that's a rough, that's a loss. That's a rough loss. <sighs> the first one. All right, well, I guess I could just go catch the second one. Pretend it was like the first one. Is that what I have to do? Don't ask me. I, I can't believe that I caught my first bullfrog and didn't capture it on camera because I'm a doof. Unbelievable. 
Well, I mean, I guess it's actually totally believable. That big one that you saw jump probably wasn't a baby. <gasps> There's one right there. You, like, you, you don't see them and then they just... It's because of the green. They're camouflaged. What I should be doing right now is having the net in the water just in case there are any down there. Actually, that's not a bad idea. This is the second time I've seen this today, a crawdad crawling up out of the water. Look at that thing. It's just out of the water like a weirdo. Go back in. Hey, I think I know why it wasn't on record. Because when you dropped it in the water, a frog touched the stop button. Oh, oh. freaking, oh, they, oh, good thing my slipper floats. <laughs> Holy cow, little crocodile. It's cool. <laughs> Baby crocodile. All right, boy, let's see if we can't find us a frog and actually show it. Did you get him? Yes! Oh! <laughs> Second frog of your life! There he is. Little froggy. I'm fairly certain that's a bullfrog. Anybody wants to call different. I'm not an amphibian expert. I'm not an insect bullfrog. expert. I know what kind of snakes I can find around here, but I'm fairly certain that's a bullfrog. What do you think, Noah? Bullfrog. Bullfrog? Because since I caught one, I just want to say it's a bullfrog. Okay. <laughs> Look at how cool that little dude is. I'm so happy. But do toads like to swim? Uh, not as much as frogs. I'm so happy you got a little froggy. You're going to let him go. Two frogs. All right, little home slice. Take off. Do your thing. You're free, bud. Hop away. Yoop. Silly little guy. He's just going to float. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, even though it's not all the way shaven off, I can say it is very, very much refreshing. Oh, oh, it's still, there's still enough hair there to where I can, you know, not, it's not a big change, but it's enough gone where oh, it feels so refreshing. My head feels lighter and, oh, it's so nice. Oh, back on the camera, by the way, even though I dunked it in the creek, it was fine. And now we're just going to hang out here, do some really normal stuff, like go hang out at my grandma's house and, and feel a little bit of normalcy in our life, hanging out with the family. It's been, it's been a little bit of a weird one not being able to see. It's been the longest amount of time since I've seen my grandma, I think, ever in my life. Um, it's nice to go see everybody like that. But I hope you guys are having a great day, whatever you're doing, and take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on Wednesday for an uncut with Mr. Jimmy Cruz. <laughs>
and you're super duper ridiculous and you will you're strong enough to punch through a house wall. That's all I know.